Welcome back to the Throwdown OC Championship League Play 2. This is Corey Lord, and Wolfie's joined us on the desk as well. I'm Hysterics, and we're jumping into our next series with Chiefs jumping back on the pitch, but this time taking on Jam Gaming. That's right. Jam Gaming looking so strong coming out of last week. 3-0. No one really saw it coming up against Tainted Minds, and I believe they're playing really well, but from that last match, Chiefs, again, looking in form and really in style. Yeah, I think it's just going to be a case of it's Chiefs on form, and I just... Uh, there we and go. that's it? And that's where you end the <laughs> yeah, conversation? That's, that's it, it's done. Well, look, wow. the Chiefs look dominant, and when you have a $25,000 tournament, you're like, we got to take this seriously, and we got to jump to the next level, and I think for the Chiefs, that is really not that hard at this stage. Yeah, especially the fact they get to move forward as well, and have that chance at all that RLCS cash, which is monstrous this year. Well, Chiefs are definitely at the point where they're looking at the overseas teams and what yeah. they can do to beat those teams over at RLCS compared to, you know, in league play where a lot of the other teams here are like, we've just got to make it through this series, make it through this series and get towards the final. Well, speaking of making it through that series, for Jam Gaming, they've got their hardest matchups today. <laughs> they take on Chiefs and then after this, they take on Jam Gaming and, uh, sorry, they take on Dark Side. <laughs> Ooh, a mirror match. Wow, they take on themselves. <laughs> it's a mirror oh. matchup and the schedule today is insane because this for Jam Gaming is going to be one of the hardest runs. Well, it's going to be setting the bar, right? Yeah. Jam Gaming goes, hey, if we're against some of the tougher teams in OCE at the moment and then we do well or even okay against them, they're going to feel really happy. And taking any sort of game or hopefully even a win, you know, maybe off Chiefs, maybe off Darksided, not too sure, but they'll be happy with that. And we do know the tiebreakers here at Throwdown are probably... Very, very common. They like, crop yeah. up all the time. So every game will matter. I think they will be relying on getting some cheeky plays around the Chiefs roster. I think Bango may be the guy to look at. I'd be scared because the Chiefs looked totally in form and they took their A game to Tainted Minds. Jam Gaming, they found a weakness of Tainted Minds and they exposed it. But the Chiefs is a whole different animal. And although Chiefs played super well, I think that Jam Gaming, they got some secrets as well. Well, I hope they have some secrets because, like, we've seen Chiefs. <laughs> Drippe is on fire, which means he just, like, destroys everybody. <laughs> then you have Torsos, who is mechanically insane. And then you have Jake, who's where he needs to be and has learned how to shoot despite what that shot percentage says. I feel like it's far too clinical from Chiefs at the moment. They're playing as if they're going up against those international teams where they have to be on their best game. They can't miss a defensive clear. They need to make sure that they're getting that. And they're doing it from that last series that we saw. Yeah, and Chiefs, you're saying they're looking clean and they're looking exceptionally clean because they're not getting scored upon at all despite the fact that Tainted Minds had shots. I think Torsos is going to be a pretty happy guy after that last series compared to the first oh, week, Torsos obviously. Never happy, yeah. <laughs> but happy relative to happy, happier than yeah. what he was last but week. But look, gents, we haven't seen Jam Gaming today, and that's why this is a big question mark because Jam performed well last week. How much have they improved? How much have they been preparing for this week? Going up against the Chiefs, do you have faith in Jam or are you going to stick with our tyrants? I've been a fan of the Chiefs for the longest time, and I'm never going to say that. <laughs> no, no, no. It's an unbiased answer, but me personally, I like the way that the Chiefs are playing at the moment. They're looking a lot stronger than pretty much all the other teams in league play, at least for today. So Wolfie's going for the Chiefs. Korea, before we jump into game quickly. Chiefs. Chiefs. Mm. Why? Just because they're dominant. Yeah, Chiefs, they're machines. When they're on, they win. And they're on, so they win. Very simple. I want to point to you at home and say that Jam Gaming are going to come out of the woodwork. And the reason I say this is not because I'm supporting Walcott. <laughs> it's because that Jam Gaming, what I saw last week, was enough to take on a team like the Chiefs. And I honestly think that if they play like they did last week, although the Chiefs are red hot right now, it's Jam Gaming's time to win. And we're going to find out. Game one begins. And Decker over to Walcott. Look at this. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Out of the pits and into the fire. I think they're going to need to stay very far away from the pits because <laughs> okay. that's what Chiefs wants them to fall right back into. I don't know how they're going to do it, Hysterics, but I'm feeling like it's going to have to be dribbles or single-player plays running past the rest of the Chiefs Remember defense. Jam Gaming, very different team from Tainted Minds, so playstyle could affect it. Over to Bango. Passes there and Chiefs intercepted immediately. Drip A comes forward. Corsos lobs it up into the air, off the corner, sets it up. But Walcott clears it away. And now the Chiefs are... Just trying to get the read on Jam. Game one being a very temperamental game so far in the OCU Championship. Always is, always will be. Walcott sending it upfield. Jake positioning around the ball. Bango getting to demolition. Could be a good start for Jam Gaming. Drippe comes through and Titan Slayers, will they continue their reign? Jam Gaming thought maybe unstoppable, but who knows? Decker getting back in time. It's a good clear away, saving the ball. Jake comes in, Torsos from the corner. Chiefs have just had a very dominant game against Tainted Minds, but 
Jam Gaming had a dominant game against Tainted Minds, so they stand next to each other, ready to poison the battle. Yeah, it just feels bad for Tainted Minds at this point, but I think the thing we need to see is in more of those demos coming out. The opportunity coming through, another shot off the post, but the clear comes out of Chiefs, and I think that Jam needs to be using some of those demos. We saw them take out Torsos at the beginning of the game, and it gave them a great opportunity. I'd love to see them use that again, because Chiefs rotate so safely, they typically only have one player who's been raiding back to be destroyed. Well, off the corner now, the Chiefs setting themselves up, but Warcock gets a huge clear. Drippe has to get back and rolls it over to the side. Jam Gaming able to put the pressure on as Decker comes back in, and Decker stepping up with the final moment of Jam Gaming, really cementing their lead. And forward they go again, clears after clears. Jam Gaming holding their own against Chiefs. Game one, a very different story. Tulsos around the side. Decker reaches to the ball. Chiefs trying to get into position off the backboard. Walcott sends it away. Jake comes up. Tulsos back here again. Walcott back on the ball. Bango hangs back. This is over to Decker if he can get there. Bango repositioning around this ball. Hits it up over to the side. There's Jake. Walcott beats out the ball and gets it over the top of the Chiefs. Now Decker able to push forward. Torsos sends that one to a very risky pass. And away from the corner, Drippe actually wins it out. Decker back for defense. And the fact that there's a lot to say from Jam Gaming is a good sign. Yeah, they're pretty safe and confident, but the shot is going to come on the backboard. But are they ready and waiting? The defense is going to be enough to hold them through it. I think it's just a case that when the three players on Chiefs all go back, they're going to be okay. Bango waiting for the ball to bounce. Walcott all the way back. Drippe will get there, but misses. It's not something we often see from Drippe. Jake passes it over. Drippe up with the ball again. Back into the corner. We'll hit it out and well read from Decker. The uprising, the stars from Jam Gaming. Walcott pops it over the top and saves it away, but Bango still brings it back in and Walcott, Decker, they'll get to the ball here. They'll beat it all the way out. Pops it up. The solo play boosts around it, but loses it to Jake. Yeah, he's a great player at reading other people and knowing exactly where to be. Reactionary players like that are going to make great people in the midfield and deeper into your heart and stopping those smart triple players. This is 1.30 left remaining game one, and there hasn't been a clear, concise victor. One minute 30 now of the ball bouncing back, and Drippe... He's coming down to center it. Jake is here, but he's behind the ball. Bango lobs it up for his team. Torsos can only wait and react. And over the top, the pass to Drippe still beaten out. Torsos has to rotate back as Jake pushes the ball upfield. A minute 10 remaining, and Chiefs are still getting a lot of control on this side of the field, but unable to find a goal just yet. I mean, it's concerning. Chiefs need to lock one in, slot it, and get themselves in a good position. I think they're relying on the fact they're so consistent. They know if they just play it relatively safe and take the opportunity to slowly pressure Jam, oh. they're eventually going to get the score. Decker was so damn close. Bango, that's an open net. Who can find it? Drip Bay comes to a standstill with the ball. The cameraman's in a panic like we are. And we got 40 seconds, but cheating the ball through. The Chiefs find the first. Lulled them into a full sense of security before they strike bringing the whole Jam roster Whoa. forward, and then beating them out in the goals. Jake taking the first. But one goal, maybe that's all it takes. Jam Gaming, they found the breakaway. They tried to pierce through that net. The yeah. Chiefs were obliged to counterattack, and it was imminent, it was dangerous. Immediately, Jam Gaming now have to really set up this tempo, set it up in their favor. Walcott from around the side. Bango's here as well. Hits the roof. Back down. Bango pops it in front of net. Close call. But now beating away all members from Jam. This is a goal. Waiting as that was a sneaky third touch from Jake. What another sick counter-attack coming out of Chiefs. The whole roster of Jam once again getting punished. And Jake's oh. ability now to put goals away is so good for Chiefs, rounding out their entire roster's offense. Okay, so Chiefs have taken themselves into game one success and I think for the Chiefs, they'll say, yes, that was a okay game one, but it wasn't as convincing as we once thought. And Jam Gaming, they held strong, lost a bit of that said momentum in this game. The series still continues. And I think for Jam, there were these signs of beating out the Chiefs members. And it's what we saw against Tainted Minds last week. See, I'm going to go the other way. I think Chiefs were pretty confident with the way they ended up playing. I think the opportunities that Jam actually had to score not many of those looked like shots that were going to be on. The Chiefs were really struggling to get to. Decker having a good game again. And I think that they would be happy with the performance so far from Jam Gaming. But how do they build on that? How do they start taking it to the Chiefs instead of letting the Chiefs 
take it to them. Yeah, because it was, it was a big case where they played a lot in the midfield and we didn't see the shots that Jam were taking. What I was trying to say is we never saw them to have these huge pass plays that then put Chiefs in this terrible back foot position yeah. where the audience was like, oh, no, Chiefs, oh, what a crazy save. Like, there were some good ones, but they weren't you'd, pushed to the edge. You'd be good in the audience. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> That's where I really should be. Um, oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> Stay here. Stay here. Um, no. But yeah, I think there was, there was no situation where Jam was really putting Chiefs on the back foot you were terrified the Chiefs were about to let the goals in. Yep. And as a consequence, I think they were pretty happy with letting Jam take those shots, knowing the huge counter-attacks that Jake pulled out were just waiting to happen. But a very different feeling because the Chiefs still look in control, but a team that has beaten Tainted Minds last week and now looks a bit more concise in, in my in point of view from Tainted Minds. I think that Jam, they've got so much to show us. And in Game 2, I'll be looking forward to whether Decker can continue playing this great game. I mean, three saves, five shots at the end of the day there, and Decker was definitely the person we were looking at in that game. Well, 0% accuracy. But still applying the yeah. pressure. <laughs> I know. I, yeah, <laughs> so toxic, Chris. So <laughs> toxic. Game two begins now. Jam one foot behind, but ready to go whenever. Chiefs off the kickoff. This one is going to be sent up by Torsos. And over to the side, in comes Drip 8. As it bounces back down, Bango off the corner. Jam Gaming able to hold out in the defense and it doesn't look like they're pushing up just yet. Walcott hangs like a spider, but Jake will have room to breathe. Passes it in front. Red well again by Walcott. Yeah, and now this is the opportunity. They need to try to take more shots on. And I want to see the demos that we saw at the beginning. That gave me a lot of hope. When they were like, Torsos is the only man back, we can take him out. And although Drippe got there back in time, it was a great opportunity. And I think if they can do more of that, It'll put him in a prime position to score. Keeping them on the defense, the Chiefs are now starting to roll around, but Jam Gaming, an opportunity, gets taken away. Bango doesn't lose the ball, pops it up, gives time for Jam to rotate back away from this corner. Torsos hits it onto the wall, back around. Jake with the shot. Big clear from Walcott, though. This is where we watch the pressure from Jam Gaming. It's building up, but a good touch from Torsos. It was so necessary to get it away. So that now jam back on the defense. Yeah, it's a hard place to be. Chiefs, you look at their roster, right? They're all great rotational players. They all can shoot. They all can play the entire pitch. And they're like, okay, maybe we're just going to try beat them in ones. You're like, oh, Drippe is really, really good at ones. Torsos is really good at ones. There's not exactly a great edge you can find to take them out. It's a struggle when the Chiefs are so experienced. That's a net taking the Chiefs. Yeah, methodical as always, just slowly building up that pressure before one of them takes it out. When the shots are on from that angle, it really opens up the net, allowing them to score on jam, just from that nice shot right out the front of the door. The Chiefs are 1-0 up. And again, Jam Gaming getting forced out. And really, it's a close call, but the Chiefs always manage to look like they hold control. Bango, opportunity arises for Walcott to come up. He's now got Decker in the midfield. Bango waiting back as well, in position all the way back. The center was there, and now Bango actually going to have to play quite aggressive with this defense, and Jake locks it down, but Walcott clears it away. I love when players start to opt to go straight at the bottom of the bins rather than try to take that top corner shot. Try bait them out, because most players want to jump up and try defense. I remember I was talking to Daisu throughout the week, and he said that was kind of a tactic for a while, and that was, that was what players were doing because it was so intuitive that they were going to hit it in that top corner that they started hitting it low and players were like, oh, what's this all of a sudden? And for the Chiefs, maybe that play still happens. And Chiefs still up 1-0, getting close into that net. That goal square under pressure once more. And Jake hits it up onto the roof in front of the net. The shot's there from Drippe. What a beautiful bounce off the roof as well. The setup, it allowed Jam Gaming to get punished by. It's just beautiful. Another moment where the Chiefs look in dominant control. Putting those two words together sounded good at the time, but I feel like it doesn't make sense. 2-0, two, 2 minutes 30 remaining. The Chiefs, they could be walking away this week with another two series wins. Yeah, 3-0 by the looks of it as well, so that great game percentage to carry them through any tiebreak. But there are moments where Jam Gaming are stepping up to the plate big. They just need to start locking down some of these shots. Now in front of net, this is an opportunity for the Chiefs. And they have to be careful where they're passing the ball. Yeah, and they also need to get some opportunity to get some shots in. Because if we look over at the uh, Jam Gaming team, they haven't actually taken a single shot this match. No, they've been intercepted many, many times. Decker takes the first one, and it's dropped in front of net, defended away well. They cannot break through, and 
This is the trouble with Jam Gaming. They're just struggling against this all-experienced roster. The international superstars of OCE getting pressured on, but unable to get one in. Decca hits a crossbar. Yeah, it's just going to be rough. Whenever you fall behind Chiefs, you're in a lot of trouble because they're the lowest scored upon team, and they have been pretty close to that every single season. So once they get that lead, you're going to get locked out. Chiefs up 2-0, 1 minute 30 remaining. Corsos knows this ball hits the side wall, uses it to pell off and jump forward. Walcott hits it up lightly. Bango rotates back. Jake steals the ball away. The intercepts coming out left, right, and center from the Chiefs as they hit it around the corner. Jake's there in position. Drippe up for the ball as well, not getting a steady clear from Jam Gaming. The shot again. Walcott forced to get up, and now he's out of position with the Chiefs finding one in, and it's Torsos. The nail comes again. What a beautiful shot. Is just taking it off the wall like that, be able to have the boost and just pepper just the right amount to get the angle to finish that is some serious mechanical skill. One minute remaining. The Chiefs have done all they need in game two, what looks like. And I say that the Chiefs are working from last week. Last week was so close against Love Dex. And sure, Love Dex played well, but to a degree, this time Yummy is right where... Chiefs weren't in form last week. That was not the Chiefs we know and love. That was not the Chiefs who have changed their play style and started putting Jake forward. I think it's an interesting thing to note if you're looking at last week's games, is that Chiefs wasn't on their A game, but they still managed to beat Love Dex, who are playing out of their mind. And whilst Tainted Minds got 3 0 by Jam for not playing well, it shows a bit of the discrepancy in skill when Chiefs are on versus Tainted. Well, Jam were definitely on last week, and not to say they're not playing as well as last week. Well, to, to, to a degree, I, I would say maybe they're not because the pass is. Getting intercepted a lot, not being, not reading the ball as well as they were last week. And it's enabled the Chiefs to get through, steal some away, away some of those balls. And now for the Chiefs taking game two, this is a convincing performance, one that could end in another 3-0. Yeah, it's definitely going to look like a 3-0 at this rate. Jake has seven shots alone. And that's, he's taking so many shots that Drip A isn't having the opportunity to take that many shots. Reasonably, Jam Gaming need to start looking at how they beat the Chiefs and how they can get through this roster because your road to RLCS, it begins now. But when you get to those finals, when you get to the point where this qualifies us for RLCS, if Chiefs are in the way, you have to face this matchup all over again. Or you could go and be uh, the second seed in RLCS and versus some like terrifying EU team like Northern Gaming Why is this in an our option? first season. What? <laughs> no team wants to come second. No team wants to, you know, go less than eight thousand two hundred and fifty US dollars. This is a team that can do it in Jam Gaming. I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I just think they need to strengthen their play, like they strengthened it last week, and again strengthen that roster. Well, they definitely need to strengthen something because you're gonna the way it's going at the moment with Chiefs on fire. They're probably gonna push all the way to that first seed, and now we have Dark Sided, we have Legacy, and if you want to throw Jam in there as well, and then you got Tainted Minds. That's four teams fighting for second. That's right, the second spot, and, and not to say that Chiefs have guaranteed it, but in the past when we've ever doubted them, the Chiefs have come up and said, "We're in land, we take it all the way," and yep. they've taken a comfortable first seed every time. To go to RLCS is not the first seed. Chiefs would be disappointed. To not go at all would be a huge upset. It begins in link play. So can Jam Gaming start the reverse sweep? We've seen one today already. I think it's very optimistic. But what they need to do to that do That sounds it, like a realistic answer. <laughs> oh, it's very optimistic. Try again. No, that's the realistic answer. <laughs> like, I'm glad you are they going to do it? Probably not. Can they do it? Anything's possible. But there they're going to have to go. change something. There you go. That's what I wanted from Korea. Jam Gaming... Now into game three, behind two. Tighten up the play. Next they go against Darksided, and that's a pickle. But Drippe starts off strong. The pass is always clean. Definitely optimistic. Well, great, great. Grand analysis of that goal. Thank you very much. But Drippe, right place at the right time. It was a great pass from Jake and the Chiefs again. After 12 seconds, they find an opening, and this is dangerous stuff going against Jam. Yeah. Being on that back foot immediately is not going to put them in a good situation. Mm. But the upside for this in regards to Jam is even if they can't pull it back and they do manage to get 3 0 by Chiefs, this is Chiefs. This is the team that everyone's... Whoa, the opportunity does come out though. Walcott, he has the chance to follow through, but the defense from Torsos is going to be enough to hold them out. And most matches are going to go like this. Wow, Chiefs but finally, everyone. some early shots there, career, and this is some signs of life from Jam Gaming. From the corner, Walcott gets back up to the ball. Bango needs to rotate forward, but he's going to wait back. Oh, I was wrong. We're going to hit it up. 
Jam Gaming wait patiently under the ball. That was Bango. Up goes Decker. The three shots already from Jam, and this makes a bit of a difference in things to come. Out of boost now for Bango. Walcott hits it up, but Jake finds the angle again. Walcott clearing it away, and that ball as it drops down. The dribble from Walcott. Drippe runs over the ball, and as they drive forward, now Walcott centers it around, and it gets through, but no, it hits the crossbar, and you can't catch a break because the Chiefs, they find the counterplay. They can't clear it out in time, and Chiefs look like they want to find another goal. Yeah, whenever you see Drippe and Torsos just run at the ball, you know they're going to take possessions. It's very much like a Mighty Ducks scene. Great pass. This is finally a moment for Jammer Block. Decker's coming in. The first goal. There it is for Jam. The equalizer. Jam has Woo! done it. The opportunities are now ripe for the picking. Great shot there by Decker, getting past both Drippe and Torsos. So if you had to pick two to beat, they're the ones. 15 shots later, 20 shots later, we get the goal. Jam, they're on top. And now, my prediction, it started things up. <laughs> it begins. It begins to make people sound wrong. But Chiefs, already, I've been shut up. Drippe comes through and pushing on. Maybe this is it for Jam. Walcott loses out to the ball. Decker coming around as well. But game three, it's at equal standings. Jam have found some room to breathe. They bring the ball back down. Decker playing out of his mind in this series despite the result. I'm going to have to wait patiently. Walcott comes back in. Jake clues it away. Yeah, legs are silly. Maybe they're motivators as they come and try to go for that reverse sweep. But getting back that control in the midfield is going to be critical for them. It's a whole different beast in the Chiefs. A great pass onto Torsos into net. Bango saves it away. Torsos coming back in to challenge, and Jake will be the one to rotate back. Decker off this wall will miss the second touch, and Jake is left as a result. Walcott is going to hit slightly under the roof. Drippe comes in. He's going to pick up his boost on the way. The pass into the center field. Walcott misses, but Bango recovers. He's going to go for the solo play. Tries to pop it up. Decker was there, but Drippe wins. Yeah, good read there. Seeing that they're going for the pass play rather than going to shoot, Drippe knows he can get the intercept and allows his teammate to go engage for the 50 -50. Drippe comes around the side, and now Chiefs, the power play continues right in front of net. They clear it away. Walcott, that's a good read on the ball. We'll make sure it comes to a slow pace. Walcott taken away by Torsos. Decker over to the side. Jake, he's coming in hot. Off the side now, looking for the centre. Cleared away once again, but Jam Gaming can't get it out of the side of the field. Torsos is going to hit near the backboard. In comes two members of the Chiefs. Jake wins it out from the corner. Drippe there with the angle. Walcott's already down and only managing to save it. It goes in front of net. It's a close call from the Chiefs. Jake brings it back down and puts the nail in the coffin. What a beautiful shot. They didn't have the initial follow-up, but they gave themselves the time and the space to get this perfect shot by Jake. The top left of the bins coming down. And into that play, finally getting that goal. The Chiefs lead by one. Maybe the nail in the coffin for that play, but not for the game just yet. Chiefs only leading by one. Walcott bringing the ball back around. It's a light touch. Decker's here, but he's gone too low. I Means Strip A is able to help clear it away with the help of Jake pushing it up. The one, two, the third interrupted by Bango. Walcott coming all the way forward, trying to get the ball once again. Decker, around he goes from the corner. No one hits it from the Chiefs. Jake loses it. Bango's there. Torsos will now be able to push it and clear. Walcott waiting for the perfect moment. That boost taken away by Bango. Walcott now on full boost. Jumps up for the ball. Walcott loses and loses that challenge. But Bango is going to try and reach up for the ball. Minute remaining. The Chiefs have come back online. Well, they were never off, but... Jam Gaming struggling to score this goal. They need to equalize. This is the last game for them if they can't. Walcott, opportunity as he tries to push the ball back up. But Torsos, this ball is going in front of net. Drippe tries to drop it down. Jake doesn't come forward, but they're keeping the ball up this side of the field. The pass up, it's on Walcott. He misses the ball, and Bango has to pass it back. The play from Jam, it's not fast enough, and Chiefs regain control of the ball. Yeah, see if they had that huge fast play that was going around the center of the field and Jake realized that it was too tumultuous in there. They had that one goal advantage and he should just sit on it in the midfield and know that when the ball comes to him, he'll have some time or they're going to have to slow down the pace. The opening is up and now Torsos comes forward. He comes forward fast and there's a miss from Walcott. Unfortunately, Jam still on the defensive and Chiefs just playing with time. Drippe controlling the ball. Walcott now has possession as it drops down. Jake punches it through. Decker has to get it out of there. The Chiefs controlling this game, controlling the tempo. And with two seconds left remaining, I fear that the Chiefs have taken another 3-0.
Nice play there by Chiefs. Another clean 3-0. These are the guys I expect to make all the way through that OCS championship. And represent as well, the international. The OCS. Oh, sorry, wrong word. OCE. <laughs> OCE. My apologies. No, the Chiefs, though, you're exactly right. They've had a clean series. I think one that they, again, should be proud of. Jam Gaming had signs of life, but they finally got their first goal. Yeah, that's right. Jam Gaming played really well in that last game. But in the previous two, it was a lot more of a whitewash. It was the multifaceted gameplay coming out from Chiefs where yeah. they're just everywhere. They have the offense, have the defense, and they played really well. Yeah, there's not exactly a hole you can find in Chiefs gameplay that you can really pick on. We can go back and look like Weasel Mafia, like, okay, if you get the big clear, we yeah. know that they're in trouble against Chiefs. It's like, hopefully get past one of them. When you play against a stronger side and a side that's a lot more consistent than pretty much most of the competition within OCE, it's very difficult to actually pinpoint where or how to improve in your own play when you're up against a brick wall. You know, yeah. you go for a shot, it's like, oh, okay, well, there's a defender there and he's going to get it. You know, there's no way that they're going to stuff up because they're mechanically skilled. Yeah, you're in like the middle the middle half of that game is what I liked, where you, where you saw them pick up the pace. Jam's like, maybe we can go faster. Yeah. Chief's like, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you saw as well is that that first goal came out and Chiefs instantly went, no. Like, yeah. we know what we need to do. We can't just let that ball go through and leave these balls unchallenged in our defense. Yeah. Another moment where the Chiefs look so damn strong and it's hard not to look at an omen, omen by HB MVP in Jake because he's had two consistent series where he stepped up big and Drip Aid tossed us again. You can't name one without naming the others. Mm. Makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Jam Gaming will be a little bit disheartened by this, but next they go up against Darksiders. So. <laughs> well, I think <laughs> going, uh, coming from this matchup, I mean, I would not be sad if I was Jam Gaming because in that last game, they really stepped up and they were showing, as you said before, signs of life. It mm. was very fast, very aggressive play. And if they bring that to Darksiders, then maybe we might see a bit of an upset. So I'm going to go the other way on that one. I don't think you ever lose 3-0 and like, that was great. <laughs> like, this is what I want. I, I'm so happy I got no games towards tiebreakers. But they did get a goal. Yeah, we got. I'm so glad we got one goal. Yeah, it's still no lining with right 8, there. 8,250 USD. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, it's going to be a difference when they verse Darksided next. We're going to have a short five minute break. And when we return, Jam Gaming jump back on the pitch to take on Darksided.